Uh-huh. Meeting over the phone, a much different experience. <laughs> Especially Thank since you. this Thank hug you. spurred by a 911 call and a now viral TikTok video. I mean, it was it was a crazy event, but thanks to Jordan, like she got everybody there in a quick manner. On March 14th at their Hanover home, Deja Etheridge and her two daughters were the only ones there. So I'm a disabled military veteran. I had taken um, some of my prescribed med medication. Deja felt groggy and lightheaded while trying to get six year old Jordan out of the house to school. And no sooner than I tried to make it up the steps, I think I made it up maybe two or three stairs. And next thing I know, it was like, I felt myself going down. I actually heard myself hit the ground, but by that point, I didn't hear or I didn't feel anything else, and it was like everything just went black. In ring video, you can see Deja unconscious on the floor and Jordan on the phone. I know that when I came to, I looked at Jordan and she was on the phone, and I'm like, who are you on the phone with? And she's like, uh, 911. I just wanted to make sure you knew that you did a good job. You, Communications <laughs> officer Shannon Scheibel. My mom, I think she just passed out. And Jordan calmly walked through what happened. Jordan able to relay the Etheridge's address and get emergency crews on the way. My mom, she freaked out. So, you know, as adults, you know, we will freak out. So for a six year old to be able to take that on, I mean, it makes me really, really proud. Deja says early on, she taught Jordan and her sister Peyton who to contact in an emergency. You should teach your kids, you know, stranger danger. And if an emergency happens, you contact 911. But I never even thought to go into the specifics of if I were to pass out. You have to call 911 to get those resources sent to you. So practicing or planning or preparing for that's really important. Hanover officials say Jordan's actions show young kids can save lives when families talk out emergency plans. So I don't think it's too soon to start basic instruction. Um, so I would say as, as soon as there's an opportunity to present itself to to educate them on that. Well done, Jordan. The normally shy six year old cracks a smile as the county honors her with a 911 Lifesaver Award. As a mom, like knowing that my kids are going to look out for me, like even though I'm supposed to be their protector, knowing that, you know, at such a young age they can step in and be my protector. I mean, it's it's huge. It's really big. If you or someone you know might need help doing a planning emergency plan for your family, Hanover officials say it's best to contact your local 911 department for more resources.